I made this telescope mirror. And I built this telescope. Here's how I did it, and here's how you can too. I'm Logan Nicholson, and this is Australian Astronomy. So, this is my 10 inch F5 DIY telescope. I made just about everything on this telescope, including the main primary mirror. In fact, there are only two things I did not make. So, so far I'm really happy with the way it works. Let's get into how I actually made this thing. So first we start down here with the primary mirror. This is the mirror that will collect all the light that hits it and then it will bounce it back up to the secondary mirror and then into the focuser so you can have an image of what you're looking at. I made this by first getting this big chunk of glass pretty thick, it's about 50 mils or 2 inches. From there, you take very rough carborundum grit and grind a curve into the actual face of the mirror. It's a very shallow curve, only about 3 millimeters, or 1 eighth of an inch. From there, you have to progressively grind it finer and finer with, with more fine carborundum grits. And the way you do that is using a tile tool so a tool basically made out of porcelain that will grind against the surface of the glass. As porcelain is harder than glass, it will remove material easier. Once the mirror's surface is very fine, then you take a polishing lap and you polish the mirror until it is shiny like this. This is not actually the final state of a tele... Note, before you finish the mirror, you actually have to refine the figure of the mirror. So you can't just have it be polished out randomly. It has to be a very precise shape, and this takes quite some time to achieve. But this is also done with polishing certain areas of the mirror with a pitch light. Telescope mirror, from here it has to be illuminized. But I don't have the facility at the moment, and I'm waiting to drop it off at my illuminizer. From there, it'll reflect 90 to 95% of the light, and it'll look more silvery. That's how you make the primary mirror of a telescope. Alright, so I've got my scope set up here and I'm just having a look at Venus in the sky which is just right over there in the sky so once the primary mirror is finished then we move on to the actual structure of the telescope first down here we have the mirror box, a lower tube assembly. Then we have truss poles, which I'll explain more about soon. Then we have the upper tube. The upper tube houses our focuser, our secondary mirror, and our spider. So the light will go through here, down here, hits the primary mirror, re reflects back up, hits the secondary mirror, and then reflects into the focuser. The lower tube assembly or mirror box, as the name implies, houses the telescope mirror. From there, it sits on this rocker box, which has Teflon. Alright, so we're just about to have a look at Venus through the eyepiece. There it is. These huge arc-shaped things are actually the bearings. So they're coated with a special type of plastic called Formica, which has bumps on it that are right on the Teflon just at the right uh, consistency to make a smooth motion. And it pivots just beautifully, beautifully like that. Same applies on the rocker box. It sits on its own layer of Teflon and it pivots like that. So here, we have the mirror cell. This is the part of the telescope that actually allows you to collimate it. So these screws will move the pointing of the mirror just slightly so it can be focused at the exact right point on the secondary mirror. From there, you can also collimate the secondary mirror using screws on this side. All that comes together to form a focused image 
when you put an eyepiece in this focuser. And you may ask, what's up with this truss structure? Well, these are actually to make the scope much lighter than it normally would be. These allow you to break the scope down into very small pieces, just the upper tube, the lower tube, and the rocker box. And with the truss poles, it makes it just so much easier to transport the telescope, because if you could imagine, this telescope would have been a whole solid tube, which makes it much harder to move around. looks pretty good to me. So, that concludes my 10 inch F5 telescope. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it very interesting and educational. Thanks for watching.